Vento's Pizza in East Liberty is headquarters to Franco's Italian Army, a shrine to the 70 Steelers. History hangs on its walls. In 1972, my father and Tony Stagno started the greatest fan club in NFL history. Just a couple guys from around the block, Al Vento Sr. and Tony Stagno, who wanted to inject some energy into a forlorn and discouraged fan base. Noting Franco's half Italian heritage. Why don't we look at doing something there and, you know, do Franco's, you know, Franco's Italian Army. The name stuck, the army grew, and things started happening. My season's going like this. Steelers season is going like this. You know, now we're winning. Fans are going crazy. The Army's antics grew bolder. We had 12 seats at Free River Stadium, and two of the seats were just for food. And my job was bringing in two cases of wine. We'd bring in 24 loaves of bread, and the bread was hollowed out, and we had wine. We marched into Cleveland, and we had our Italian Army helmets on. All, we were all dressed up in gear. This guy here, Dan Zilli, was the colonel at the Hunt Armory. So when we needed a half track or a tank or whatever, we got it to go to the games. So when we went to the games, we went in style. And the reputation spread wider. Palm Springs practicing our last game of the season, my rookie year, right? And here it is in practice, and Frank Sinatra shows up and gets inducted into Franco's Italian Army. It's like, oh my God, you know, Frank Sinatra. In the story, my dad was telling me Franco ran out of the huddle to meet Frank Sinatra, and Chuck Knoll was screaming, blowing his whistle, said, get your back in the huddle, I'm gonna meet Sinatra. <laughs> no one ever met Sinatra, then he brought Franco over, then he took some pictures. Culminating in the catch that ignited a dynasty. Then for, of all things, for the immaculate reception to happen, you know, so much of this just comes together and, and, and like it all connects. And it happened directly in front of the Italian Army. It happened, we had seats on the 28, it happened on either the 25 or the 27 where he pulled the ball out of the air in front of Tatum. And I will never forget that and just the bedlam of people coming out. And that really started Franco's Italian Army. Franco's Italian Army stayed strong through the 70s, but eventually the numbers dwindled. In the Italian Army, there are, I think I'm the last of the Mohicans. One. There's just one, and Franco. But the legacy lives on. Our talent and our play was great reason for the fans to cheer. And their cheer gave us so much energy and so much enthusiasm that we fed off of each other. And you look at Steeler Nation today, one of the biggest, if not the biggest, fan nation in the country. And uh, it all started back in 1972 with uh, you know, Al Vento and Tony Stagno.